So organically, you are going to have lots of doubts and questions in your mind if you are thinking of data science as a career option and you belong to a non-tech background. In case you are new to the channel, my name is Vikash and I have made a successful transition into the data science field that also coming from a non-tech background. And in this video, I am going to talk around a three-step approach or you can say mindset that I have applied in my life and it has benefited me a lot and I would suggest it to any individual who is looking forward to make a transition into analytics. So first of all, let me clarify this thing up front that if an average individual like me can make this happen, then it is possible for each one of you and there is no second thought about it. In rest of the video, we are just going to talk around the mindset or approach that you need to have to maintain this possibility. So there is only one small request before we move ahead that please subscribe to the channel and drop a like below if you like watching this kind of content. So high in demand and good package, these are the top two reasons that most of the people are choosing analytics field as a career option. And there is nothing wrong around it, but you also need to understand that within what circumstances the analytics field will choose you. So basically I am talking around the criteria or eligibility that you need to have in order to get selected as a data analyst or data scientist. Step number one. See, try to understand why it is more difficult for people with non-tech background to make this transition. It is because of the existing assumption about you that you must not be good with statistics, programming or machine learning. And therefore, in order to overcome this situation, instead of overthinking, you should primarily aim to become good at all these things. That also with a mindset that you are learning all these things like programming, Python or machine learning just to understand that if you are able to meet the prerequisite of a data science field or a data analytics field so that you can have some clarity that if it is a correct option for you or not. And please try to avoid the mindset of learning Python or machine learning for three months and then you will straight away crash land your dream job. I'm not saying that this is not possible, but this is not a good mindset to have because after three months, if you are not able to land that job, it will become very demotivating for you in order to continue your learning. And lot of people are experiencing the same situation when after learning Python or analytics skills for a certain time, if they are not able to land the job, they feel demotivated while learning the skills. Personally for me, it has been more than three years and I am still learning data science every day. Because data science as a whole itself is an emerging field. It is evolving day by day. And therefore you should not restrict yourself within three months or six months that you will be able to complete everything. Instead, try to enjoy the journey, try to enjoy the learning curve. Step number two. So after learning the basic stuff, the core analytics skills, your next step should be since you do not have any prior experience within analytics field and therefore you should primarily aim to do some good, meaningful end-to-end -end projects and then adding it to your portfolio so that you have something to showcase as an experience. In case you are confused around that what should be approach to do an end-to-end -end project, then please consider checking the video that I have uploaded recently where within 30 minutes I have created an end-to-end -end data science application that also utilizing chat GPT. So that is a video that you should not miss in case you are someone who is working on your portfolio. In fact, this second step of doing meaningful projects and adding it to your portfolio is extremely important for you because by the end of the day, you don't want to do the talking for yourself. Let your projects or work do the talking for you. Show your experience to the recruiters so that they also can understand that what kind of experience you have had doing all these projects and how can you add value to their company. Step number three. In this step, we are going to talk around that how you should be marketing yourself in front of recruiters or companies where you are applying. Please do not showcase yourself proactively as someone who is coming from a non-tech background and now you are looking for some opportunity to get into analytics field so that you can gain some experience because this idea will not help. Instead, go with an approach where you will prominently showcase yourself as someone who is really strong at the core analytics skills and you have had some really good experience working on some good projects and talk around that how you can utilize this experience to add value to the company. Talk around what kind of algorithms you know, what kind of statistics techniques you have applied on the previous projects. So the recruiter as well can understand that your skills can be meaningful for their projects where they are hiring. I would also suggest you to watch the video that I have uploaded previously where I have shown that how can you create a CV from absolute scratch irrespective of whether you are someone who is experienced or an absolute beginner. 
in that video i have talked around that how can you create a data analyst or data science cv from absolute scratch that also again utilizing the capabilities of chat gpt that is a really fun video that you cannot miss within 20 minutes i have created a wonderful cv and it can be game changing for your job hunting journey so to be really honest with you this was the three step approach or mindset that i have utilized in order to crack data science job roles in companies like pwc tcs fossil cognizant capgemini and lot of other companies as well i'm not saying that i have worked on all these companies but i have cracked the interviews and i hope that going by the same mindset you also can make a transition successfully into the analytics field Please consider subscribing and dropping a like below if you found this video helpful. On this channel I have uploaded similar kind of helpful videos so consider watching them as well and I assure you that you will find them equally helpful. Thank you very much for watching till the end you have a nice day ahead.